Hello guys and welcome back to our favorite villainess, Katarina Glaze and uh, her journey in the fan disc with uh, the most handsome pirate character. Um, last time, as you remember, she was uh, in her own dream world. Yeah. I feel bad for Keith. And also, Silva uh, is amused. Yeah. <laughs> He's very amused. He's very amused. Um, I guess uh, we jump right into the game this time. Yeah. Since I've already opened, might as well. Yeah. So. I'm reading this again. No wonder he's a romanceable character. He may be a pirate, but he's not purely evil because he gave me more food. A lot of food. Everything, actually. <laughs> Memory. The power of food. Oh. oh, God, here we go. One day at the academy. <laughs> I think it's you to read. Mm. Sister came to me with teary eyes. I was confused at first, but uh, uh, took her to the beach bench, the bench uh, in the courtyard to listen to her story. So did Nessa. I expected her to say something about an assignment or exam, but uh, her response was uh, far more shocking. So どうしよう。スクイーズ。No we a family. Um it was a half to, to believe she would talk openly about this with a man. I was supposed to, that was just like her. I quickly look around to see if uh, anyone else was uh, within hearing range, but seeing it was safe, a sign suddenly depressed. <laughs> However, it was only an initial shock uh, that uh, her indifference. Uh, so uh, I soon reasoned she would likely tell anyone, uh, okay, regardless of gender. I guess I should be happy that uh, she came to me first, instead of somebody like uh, Prince Giorgio or Lord Nicole. Giorgio? I actually think Lord Nicole would be like... Hmm. He would smile. Yeah. So, I thought it was a lot of food in the restaurant, but I thought it was a lot of food in the restaurant, but I thought it was a lot of food in the restaurant, but I thought it was a lot of food キャンベルさんにお菓子をねだったりしてたのかというかねえさ寮では町から取り寄せたお菓子を毎日のように食べていたよねそれはまあ季節限定のお菓子があるから仕方ないのよいやいや仕方ないとは思わないけれど Worse uh, was that uh, Prince Giorgio always used desserts to bait her. She would, uh, she, so she would ate uh, it uh, with him too. Chordo. Yeah, Chordo. He's like, not George's. He's Chordo. Chordo. Yeah. Pr the prince. In other words, sister had three meals a day and a numerous snack on top, of course. Yeah. If mother learned that sister outgrew a dress from snacking, that would be an extraordinary lecture and manner lessons all vacation. In the worst case, mother might even limit her snack money. Sister seemed well aware of her fate and clung to me, face pale and eyes wet. That's exercise. Yeah, it's 
I was about to ask her what kind of exercise sister was doing when I noticed her pocket was suspiciously full. Masaka. Sore yori nee san. Sore wa? No, kore wa ne. She stuck her hand uh, into the pocket and pulled out the content. Of course. Yeah, buddy. Numerous treats, candies, cookies, and even a muffin. Watching her pull endless snacks from her pockets. A pocket. I couldn't contain my sign. This is This たけ仕事の後に食べれた美味しいのよね。いや姉さん、ちゃんと痩せる気あるの運動増やしても変わらないのはこれだけ食べているからだよ。だからお菓子をやめない限り痩せないと思うよ。えそんな。Sister's face was pale, like she was facing the end of the world. あたけ仕事の終わりに食べるお菓子はすごく美味しいのに。母さんに怒られていいなら僕は止めないけど。おまん。うん。いや、うん。Sister もらいものも多いし、捨てるなんてもったいなくてできないわ。仕方ないな。じゃあここにある分は僕がもらうよ。え？Sister looked like a ghost. I was, I suppose she was uh, planning to eat them after all. She was a, uh, she was uh, so forlorn. Uh, it looked like, uh, it, it took all my might to resist indulging her. いや、ダメダメ。僕がしっかりしてないと。Our family. It was uh, my duty to look after her. 本気で痩せたいんでしょ。そ、それはもちろんよ。じゃあこのお菓子は僕が没収する。ちゃんと捨てずに食べておくから安心して。それと姉さんはこれ以上人からもらわないように気をつけて。僕からも姉さんに渡さないようみんなに言っておくから。わ、わかったわ。えっと、じゃあ部屋にある分だけで当分は。え、え、えっと、あれはなかなか買えないお菓子屋さんに行った時に買ったもので。姉さん、母さん
<laughs> I would find the uh, wind up in the same situation as her. That way, she would lose weight before the vacation, and I would not have to throw these treats away. Give them to the poor kids. No, mine. Dame da yone. Sister reached out uh, to the pile of snacks with a shaking hand. Wow, she is addicted to sugar. She's like a junkie. Um, but I mercilessly uh, took them in my arms and carried them to my room. Out of sister's grasp. Jesus Christ. Sakarina is, a, is a, like a, a goodie junkie. Poor kid. Like, Baited by food again, sister. Be careful, you will get fat. A freezer keeps rare strict opinion. Sure, I can't farm here on the ship, and it's possible for me not to be able to wear my dress because of the lack of exercise. I'm full for now, so I should stop eating there, here. She was ready to put my food on my plate, but I thank him and decide to finish my meal. では、食事も終わりましたし、帰っていただいて大丈夫ですよ。Keith says it's so coldy, it catches me off guard. He stands up from his seat, ready to leave. Silver Crins looking entertained. Ah, oh, yeah. Wow. Do you hear? Kaizo no shirio ga koko ni iru te no ni. Jouho shushu no hitotsu mo shinai no ka to omotte no. Dou se kiite mo, kotae te kure nai de sha. Ki ga muita mon dake wa kotae te yaru ka mo shire nai da ro. From what Sophia told me, they're all doing fine, but I'm just genuinely curious. And depending on Maria's romantic situation, I might be doomed again. I'm not sure. 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 I'm not Maria?彼女も無事?Maria?ああ、あの女か。あいつならお前のことばっか心配してたな。Maria <laughs> yeah. only cares about how she bakes my cookies. Yeah. Or else try scratch her and see what happens. How kind of Maria to be concerned about me, even the situation. Are you really such a kind friend? I'm relieved to hear that she doesn't seem to be in a romantic relationship with any of the boys. Siva doesn't seem to care about Maria at all. Does that mean no romantic events have happened yet? I shouldn't let my guard down. After all, I haven't, been, I haven't played the fan disc, so I don't know when I'll be doomed. Jesus, oh. the fucking oh. henchman scared the shit out of me. Sorry. <laughs> that was so Welcome chill. to my world. Holy shit. That's the half-naked boy. Okay. I hear the door open. When I look back, I see one of the pirates with a sick passenger slung <coughs> over his shoulder. Another one? Hmm. Isha wa anta da na. Koitsu no mendou mo mite oke. Kimochi warui. Wa... Wakarimashita. Shoujo wa hakike desu ka ne? Ato... Atama mo itai yo na. That everyone is getting sick, isn't it weird? Yeah, it's an epidemic. So he looks at the sick passenger with sharp eyes. He takes a sip of the herbal tea, then quickly recalls, making a face of pure disgust. ハーブティーがですか?ああ、変な味が舌に残る。なんか甘くて鼻みたいな匂いもするし。That's what I loved about it. <笑> 
ですがこちらの薬だけはしっかり飲んでくださいね。Oh, it's that bitter medicine. The、oh, woman doesn't seem to struggle with the medicine at all. She drinks it instantly. She couldn't drink the herbal tea, but could easily take the medicine to each the own, I suppose. Hey, this herbal tea. ソルシエの人間なら全員口に合うってわけでもねえんだろうそうね私もあんまり飲んだことがなかった味だったしもしかしたらクイードのハーブなのかもほらあそこで繊維のおじさんが育ててるのよへえそうだったのかさすがは医務室長勉強熱心だな Chill conversation. Sarah continues to drink the herbal tea with a grimace on his face. Then he stands up and leaves the medical office along with the henchman who just came in. He <sighs> sighs heavily. Keith? <laughs> そうねマリアたちがどうしているか全然わからないものね僕が心配なのは姉さんの方なんだけど Looking to me, Keith lets out another deep sigh I try to rub his back in order to comfort him but he p r o l i g h t l y rejects it、hmm. Oh? Others? <笑><笑>I want to sleep, but I can't. I just woke up from a comfortable slumber, so I'm not sleepy at all. I glance over at Keith. He stares blankly at his empty cup. He s t e p e n s o d I scooch closer to him, observing him closely. Hmm, he doesn't look sick anymore. Maybe he can sense me staring at him. Keith sneaks back to his senses and quickly turns to look back at me. Do. 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 まだ本調子じゃないんじゃない辛いのなら無理しないで横になるのようん<笑>ありがとう姉さん Kiss my softly but I know he's still feeling depressed I can see it in his eyes He must be overdoing himself Oh no maybe he has a fever I press the palm of my hand to his forehead to check for a fever, but it seems that he doesn't have one. I can't get it. I'm going to 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 get it. Keith is mumbling to himself. I don't think he wants me to hear him, so I guess I should leave him alone. But I literally have nothing to do. What should I do? 
Look around to find something to do when I notice the doctor and nurses looking busy with the work. Yeah, it's me. この薬をあの方にお出ししてください。はい。Why they look busy? Because of the pirate attack, the medical office is full of sick patients. I feel bad for being the only healthy one here and doing nothing. I hate feeling useless. I should do something to help. あの、何か手伝うことはありませんか ？Both the doctor and nurse freeze. <laughs> え姉さんいきなりどうしたのいやもう体調は良くなっているしみんな忙しそうだから手伝えることがないかなって思ってそそんな公爵家のお嬢様を働かせるなんてそんなことはできませんでも困った時はお互い様って言うじゃない非常事だもの私でもできることがあればあケガ人だ今すぐ見てくれ<laughs> you look fine. How many revolvers do you want to bring, dude? And this sword. Uh, respond with two right arms so I can double shoot. Mm. Mm. <laughs> what? These pirates are injured? What in the world is happening? Was there not a passenger who rebelled like Keith did? As I'm trying to process the situation with these injured pirates, the pirates bring in another injured man. I recognize him. Lucy! <laughs> For some reason, the most injured one was Rosie. No! <gasps> Anatawa! Appearing to be in great pain, Rosie opens his eyes slightly, looks at the doctor, and shakes his head. Seeing his gesture, the doctor bites his tongue. Maybe it's the prince from the other side. From oh, that could be. The doctor and nurses proceed to give him treatment with stiff expressions. Deva, kare o oku e hakonde kure. Kizu no hongo o suru. Ah, ah, hi. No way. I can't believe Rossi got injured. Why? What happened? I stumble backwards and Keith catches me in his arms. Nesa, daishobu. My answer to that question is no, because my friend is badly injured. Kiss. どうしよう、ロジ、大丈夫よね。Ask him fearfully, unable to hide my anxiety, trying to reassure me. Keith nods with a tight smile. うん、大丈夫だよ。この船には優秀な船員しか乗っていないから、きっと助かるよ。Keith holds my hand tightly. Holding onto Keith's hand, I gaze in the direction Rosie was carried. It's already dark when Rosie's treatment is finished. I can hear Rosie on the bed nearby, breathing calmly. Perhaps the painkillers are working. You got that, eh? You know, Chini, it's just one act. Eh? But. どうしてこんなにひどい怪我をしたのかしら。I didn't get to see it closely, but considering how much pain he was in, I can tell that the injury was pretty serious. I'm too anxious to leave Rosie's side, so I stay next to his bed. Suddenly, I hear the door slam open violently. Silva? Oi, Kega Nin, what are you doing? Eh, 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 傷も縫合しましたし、命に別状はないでしょう。そうか。With genuine concerns, he will continue to inquire about the injured patient. After the doctor answers his questions, Silver walks over to the beds where Rossi and the other pirates are sleeping. <laughs> Silver stares grimly. His expression is stiff. I've never seen him this furious. I'm sure he's not in a state to talk about it, but I can't hold back my curiosity. Ah, no. Rosie, たちはどうして怪我したの？聞いてどうする？ロジーはこの船の技術者です。乗員たちの安全は保障すると言っていましたが、maybe he's one of the pirates. あなたたちが彼を襲ったんですか？ Ah, that could be. Tuck. 
大事な技術者に怪我させるわけねえだろやったのは俺らじゃねえよオーケーじゃあ誰がそれをお前らに言う義理はないとにかく今回の件に関してはタイミングと運が悪かったって言うしかねえなまあ安心しなお友達の王子様らに怪我はねえからなロジーだって私の友達だわ<笑>トゥーサスワイン And his eyebrows raise for just a moment. Then he lets out a little laugh and ruffles my hair roughly, like he would to a dog. So, then, Kore wa ore no shittai da. Waru katta yo. Otoshimae wa tsukeru. Kore i jo kega nin yo dasu yo na jitai wa zettai o kosane kara. Anshin shiro. Why did he laugh? Seva exits the office, leaving me puzzled. Because <coughs> he's surprised that、uh, she's actually wanting to be friends with everyone, doesn't matter if they are stand. Yeah. Silver seems awfully concerned about the injured. As I look at the door where he left, I feel Keith patting my head. Keith strokes my hair while mumbling something to himself. But unlike Silver, he pets me gently. He tenderly fixes my hair that Silver messed up earlier. Arigato, Kisu! Yeah. So, Yori, Kona Jikandashi, Boktachi mo kyo wa neo. Saiwai, Roji no yotai mo, Ochi t e r u m i t a i dashi. So, ne? I'm still worried about Rossi, but even if I stay here, it's not like I can do anything for him. But still, I'm too anxious to leave Rossi alone. So、keep watching him at his bedside. Ah, for you, Kif. Bokwa Dametana. I feel my heart ache、uh, as I watch sister to、uh, sister be so、uh, concerned about、uh, Rossi that、uh, she refused to leave his side. I know that sister is kind, regardless of how close she is to someone. She would never leave them alone if、uh, they are in pain. That's、uh, one of the things I love about her, but seeing her so anxious over a man she just met, a dark feeling began to steer inside me. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Since I was eight years old, I kept this feeling hidden because I don't want to ruin my relationship with love. <laughs> love. But the longer time passes,、uh, I get extremely anxious. Anxious that somebody might swoop in and、uh, win her、uh, over her heart. Shirvanima, kini irarete iru yo dashi. How can you not like her? She's just too good for this place. Too,、yeah, too good for the world. I recall sister's confusion when Silver affectionately ruffled her hair. Sister, who is so defenseless and unaware of her own charm as a lady, will be forever oblivious to those feel flirtatious, yeah, flirtatious gestures. Prince Jo. Giotto、uh, once kissed her on the neck at the ball, and she mistook it for an insect bite. That fact、uh, weighs, weighs heavily on me. Sister doesn't seem to think that Silver is an evil person. <laughs> She even seemed to consider him a friend. Well, what should I say? s h e always been like this. She sees the good in,、uh, in everyone. She even cares about people who try to hurt her at the academy. The redhead.、Mm. The guy with the glasses. Yeah. I recall Sophia's words from earlier.
Before we began this voyage, Sophia was uh, happily explaining the plot of this romance novel to sister. <laughs> Sophia said that it doesn't matter how long it takes to fall in love. Uh, uh, to fall in love, she always said that uh, what makes it so beautiful. <laughs> Sister is a Prince Jojo's fiance, but sister isn't in love with him, so it will never bother me. The engagement is nothing more than a political one. They could break it off uh, if they wanted to. Mother had always been against this marriage to begin with. But if sister fell in love, then I will truly lose a loser. The relationship I've built over the past eight years will disappear in an instant. So I feel so bad for Kate. <clears throat> Whenever she's in trouble, sister always comes to me first, and I always take care of her. I thought I had the privilege of being the closest person to sister, but. I couldn't protect her from the pirates, nor was I able to cheer her up after we saw Rossi's getting hurt. And worse, I was worrying her more because of my own issues. I feel helpless. Even so, I wanted to be by her side as long as possible. Pushing aside my feelings, I pretended to be a caring brother. That's all I can do for now, and I feel miserable about it. Oh! Oh! Oh, we're in chapter 5 already. <coughs> Let's continue Confess. a little bit more. Confess when we have 30 fun. minutes. I'm in a warm, safe place. With my eyes comfortably closed, I'm laying in bed, hugging a super soft thing. Wonder who that is. It's just like a roll of freshly baked bread. What a nice smell. So calming. I know what's coming now. Nesan. Nesan teba. Hmm, what's that, Keith? And Keith's voice has started to come to my senses, but I'm so, so sleepy I can't open my eyes at all. <laughs> this pillow I'm holding is the best thing I've ever held in my life. It fits me perfectly. I get tightly and showing its warmth, then out of nowhere I hear a growl. Nesa! <laughs> Can I see the Aww. picture? Yes, I want to see the picture! <laughs> I suddenly open my eyes to see Keith's face, so close to mine. Oh, look at it! <laughs> the perfect pillow! She found mm -hmm. it! They came in pillow! Keith? Uh. Look at him, he's like, please stop! Sorry, I'm not going to be able to do it. Huh? Does it mean I'm the one in the wrong bed? To remember what happened last night, I remember waking up to go to the bathroom. Oh yeah, I drank too much herbal tea yesterday because it kind of made me calm down and that interrupted my sleep. But since I was still half asleep, it seems like I mistakenly climbed into Keith's bed instead of mine. Yeah, <laughs> Five more minutes. <laughs> Keith pushes me off of him, and I return to my bed. I glance back at Keith, and he's blushing furiously, giving me a look of reproach. だいたいいつも言っているけれど、姉さんはもっと女性だっていう自覚を持って、僕だったからまだ良かったけれど、これが他の人のベッドだったら大変なことになってるからね。確かに怪我人のベッドに入ったら。うっかり怪我を悪化させちゃうわよね。いや、そういうことじゃなくて。はあ。どうしていつもこうなんだ。<笑> 
He covers his eyes with his hands. He looks exhausted. He wasn't fucking heaven. Looking closely, Keith looked healthier than the past few days. It seems like he's getting better. Keith smiles at me sheepishly. Perhaps he is relieved that he's finally recovering. He looked so depressed this fast, past few days, so I'm relieved to see him smile again too. Keith's sweet smile makes the ladies nearby blush while looking over at us. Wow, I'm impressed, Keith. You sure can charm people naturally, even if you didn't grow up to be a playboy like in the game. I can confirm that Keith's smile is pretty hot. I can totally see why ladies swoon over him. He's a romanceable option of an atomic game, after all. Oh, and apparently there were sexy images of him in the fan disc. Wait, wait. Which fan disc? <laughs> wait, are we seeing this sexy <laughs> moments? Calm down, calm down. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it, it, it's rated T for teens. Yeah, I know. It's a shame I never got to see them. I hope I have the opportunity in my dreams. But wait a second, Katarina, what are you thinking? Oh, come to think of it, Atsu didn't appear in my dream today. She's my source of information after all. I guess things don't always turn out the way I want. Well, that settles it. I should sleep as much as I can today so I can meet Atsu in my dreams. I pump my fist and roll into my bed again. But I must have slept too well last night because I'm not sleepy at all. It's never a problem for me. <coughs> I give up on going back to sleep. Instead... I go have a big breakfast with Keith and then... It's around noon when I hear that Rossi has woken up. I run to his bed in an instant. I guess we stop here. Ooh. Then we will hear what happened to Rossi afterwards. Well, we're in it's chapter it's 5. Good idea. good idea. We are getting there. The story is continuing and uh, Katarina has... Uh, been thinking of seeing steamy pictures of her brother for some reason. Yeah. <clears throat> and I agree. I hope we see at least one, but I doubt it. But <laughs> the hope is there. Hope is there, yeah. <laughs> hope is there. Look well, good. guys, I uh, thank you for watching as always, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.